Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Nia G. Today's video is going to be a Doc Martin Jadon review. 76 Max Leather Platform Chelsea Boots. This, these are part of the Jadon collection. As you guys know, the Platform Doc Martin Boots, I have them right here. I have tried them on before and I also have a pair of regular Doc Martin boots that are not platform so I will be showing you guys the difference between the two before we get in the video though I do want to tell you guys about the newest I do want to tell you guys about the newest Javi coffee flavor that I do before we get into it I do want to tell you guys about the latest Javi coffee flavor that I have tried it is the caramel flavor absolutely perfect for the holidays I'm actually sipping on it right here as i record this video if you guys have if you're loyal to my channel you guys know that i have worked with hobby in the past and i absolutely love their coffee it's ethically made and is a microdose and it has such a powerful punch and it's so good i know you guys are probably wondering what the heck does coffee have to do with doc martin jadons what the heck does coffee have to do with doc martin's I just love both, okay? And this is a perfect fall winter boots. I have been guilty of wearing Doc Martens a little bit in the summer and spring. Coffee recipe that I share with you guys today is absolutely perfect for the winter. And you guys can check out their coffee and get money off using the link down below. And the discount is automatically applied as soon as you check the link. That's all for now. And now let's get into this coffee recipe. So I have all of my ingredients out. I have the original flavor and the caramel coffee concentrate. And I have my Sunday syrup, caramel flavored, and my non-dairy creamer, which is oatmeal and almond milk, and it is caramel macchiato flavored. I'm using my caramel microdose today. I have been in love with caramel. Actually, my favorite coffee is caramel, but I use two teaspoons of the microdose so that I can have an effective enough dose. You can start with one if you're just trying out to see how it works on you. And then I like to put in my creamer. My creamer adds flavor to it, but the microdose on its own has a slight subtle caramel flavor to it. And then I coat the rim of my drink with caramel syrup and it makes my drink a little bit thicker and it has like a slow flavoring to it as my drink kind of sits out the more the caramel syrup dissolves into the drink and it makes it taste even better than it did originally and I like that the slow throw of the caramel flavoring and after that you can put any liquid of choice into your coffee hot or cold to make it into a coffee and I always use hot water um, from my tea kettle. I have an electric tea kettle but obviously you guys can get any kind of water if you want hot milk. You can use cold milk and I, I mean you can use cold water and ice if you want an iced coffee. That is also something that I have made before. You guys should definitely check out my original review and demo of my Javi coffee. I have been using this four months since September. Absolutely love it and I definitely recommend using my link down below. You can purchase the microdose in either a three pack and it is a recurring purchase on your card. It's kind of like a membership or just buy it one by one so you can taste it out. They also have a vanilla flavoring but my favorite right now is definitely the caramel and you can never go wrong with the original Javi flavor. Their packaging also includes a metal straw because you know they are all about saving the planet and that's what I use to mix everything together once I'm finished with this. And then my coffee usually stays pretty warm and I just sip on it, drink it depending on um, you know if I'm in a rush or not but it's so good. Caramel is the goat for the winter and fall but I do love caramel and hot coffee year round but like I said, you can obviously just add ice and water if you want this for the summer.
Okay, so boom. First things first, I have loved the platform boots since they introduced them, I think about two years ago now. And I've just been eyeing them. I couldn't figure out what perfect pair I wanted. I already have black shiny Doc Martens, which I will show you guys in a few. Um, I have different colored Doc Martens, but I've never had a platform boot. Um, they do have some Doc Martens that have a zip in the middle. I believe those are the St. Clairs. And I kind of wasn't crazy about those because they had different patterns and things like that. I wasn't really completely sold on those. And I did not want another pair of Doc Martens with laces that I will be having to tie over and over and over again. I hate tying my shoes. I barely know how to tie my shoes. Yeah, and I'm being serious. So... I waited and waited. I have these all over all of my fashion vision boards. I'm absolutely in love with these. I have so many outfits and so many different screenshots of the different Doc Martens. And I finally was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and get them. They're perfect for the winter. They're perfect for the fall. Let me just go ahead and splurge. These do retail for about... These do retail for $220. And I did get money off when I signed up for their tech subscription, which is amazing. And it took less than a week for them to ship to me. There are a couple Doc Martens stores here in Brooklyn, but let's be real. I love online shopping. So this is the box. It is double the size of the regular Doc Martens box. And it came all wrapped up. So actually, let me show you guys me unboxing it the day that I got them. I, got, I had to wear them. I was actually on my way out. So I wore them that day. And now let me show you. Okay. <clears throat> So they came wrapped in this stuffing, which I still have in the box. I haven't opened up the box since I got the shoes. And then they were stuffed with this paper, which you really don't need for Doc Martens. Honestly, they're so sturdy that they hold their own shape. I've never had a single pair of Doc Martens loose shape at all. That is the appeal of them. These Doc Martens, I believe, have been around since, I want to say the 1950s or 1920s. It's somewhere on the box, but they've been around. They're they were originally made as work boots, so so people will so since they were work boots, they needed to be able to withstand the work day. And people back then did not buy shoes the way that we buy shoes for different occasions, um, different colors, having multiples of things like that. Doc Martens can get run down and worn in, which I know some people like the look of a beat up Doc Martin, but these boots are made to absolutely last, so I do not need that paper whatsoever. But here are the details, the 2976 Max for the, the Max is to, um, the Max is to emphasize the platform and they're in color black and these are a 7. I, my first pair of Doc Martens, I made the mistake of getting in eight because I thought I should sign, I should size up, but no. Sevens are it. Plus, you break them in as you wear them more and more, so they start to form to your feet, and they're far more comfortable. But when I put these on, they fit instantly, honestly. And this is the, they fit instantly, honestly, and I did not have to do any breaking in. The second that I put them on, they were absolutely perfect. And this box so this is the box of the non-platform doc martens and this is the box of the platform doc martens i'm sorry this is heavy but look you can see it's almost half the size eh, not really half the size but it is much bigger and now let's really get into these boots okay so they have the zipper on the outside it is silver it has silver detailing silver detailing right here keep in mind i have worn these already guys i literally just took these off i ran errands this morning you guys can see this platform right here these are actually bigger than the original jazam boots you can see it's almost as big as my finger so it's about two inches of platform i love platform boots i am a shorty so that is the best part and it has the regular air wick it has the classic air wick tag right here with the size on the inside and on this side of the shoe this is the instep 
it has elastic so if you do have larger calves this so if you do have larger calves these will work for you because they do stretch and the elastic is so stretchy but my legs don't even fill out this boot honestly it fits it looks like it's fitting my leg perfectly but it does not fit um but it does not tighten out but it does not feel tight or anything i think my foot my leg just fits and it has a little wiggle room around it and these are matte black they're slightly scratched a little bit that's because i walk like a freaking toddler i've worn these about four times already and each time that i wore them i did not just like go in and out of the car i actually walked around for multiple hours like earlier the first time i wore them i wore them around the city as soon as i put them on the next time that i wore them and that's kind of been the case each time you know walking to the train today i did some light shopping but other than that these are super clean super shiny i love the matte sleek look these are so much more mature than my shiny boots my first pair of doc martens was a burgundy pair of dark Mar doc martens and i wore them the freak in okay well actually that was my second pair and then look identical these came with absolutely no imperfections no scratches oh i forgot to mention that this right here does say doc martens and being that these are a platform and the platform is so high when i was when i was walking i definitely noticed that my feet were not dragging across the floor as they sometimes do when i do wear platform shoes um they were very comfortable to walk in and very efficient i didn't feel an any extra weight on me they were super lightweight um and i mentioned that i didn't have to break these shoes in at all they're very comfortable i kind of wonder if they will begin to form to my foot as i do wear them more and more because i see these being a part kind of a i see these being a staple in my wardrobe from here on out i'm so happy that i finally got these there's been so many times where i wanted to wear a regular black pair of platform boots and i just didn't have any so i had to do without but now i'm going to show you the doc martens that i already have these are shiny i've had these for about these are the shiny these are the shiny leather and they have these black laces i've had these for about three years i got them in 2018 and these were my every single day shoes for a point in a the time they're also a size seven you guys can see the bottom and see this has absolutely no platform these do not hit this thing <laughs> like look at the difference between this boot and this boot it's giving it's not giving okay like these would eat these alive literally eating these alive now that they have now that i have these platforms i can see myself not wearing these ever again i probably honestly will give them to my little sister if she's interested i don't see myself wanting to wear a shiny black boot anymore i also have the shiny blue doc martens and those are my high school shoes so those are done for like i don't want those and they have the tongue but my main problem with these shoes is that is the laces okay the laces are never the same length the aglet is gone obviously because i've worn them so many times and they've been untied and i didn't even notice they just kind of dangle like they're just way too long for my liking and it's kind of nothing really that i could do to either tuck the laces away or just keep them tied permanently so not really not really crazy about the whole laces situation so you guys see why i decided to do without any laces on my shoes but yes but yes being that i've had these doc martens for three years you guys can tell and i did wear these every day for a point in time especially when i was traveling when i did my study abroad these were my every single day shoes they just went with every outfit that i had and they were easy to walk in but you guys can see 
the rubber is still they have some minor scratches but the rubber is still intact a little bit worn in the front the yellow detailing right here still yellow still vibrant you can see kind of where my foot was starting to like where my foot was fitting in right here like forming to my foot and yeah so I'm sure nobody was questioning the quality of Doc Martens but I just wanted to put that out there obviously when I wear shoes when I like a pair of shoes especially a good pair of versatile shoes that you can wear every single day I'm gonna wear them I'm gonna put them on with everything I did not put these shoes back in the box because I knew every time that I left the house I was putting these on these were only in the box because the other dogs were my older dogs were only in the box because you know it wasn't they were kind of out of season but I'm about to show these guys I'm about to put these on let me know down below in the comments if you guys would like to see me styling them with a bunch of other different outfits I would love to finally get to do a styling video for you guys and I'm always talking about I'm gonna have one I'm gonna do one but let me know because I will definitely do one especially for these babies since I have so many outfits picked out already for them I might as well you know and now I'm going to show you guys how they look on my feet and I'm going to insert a little clip of me walking so you guys can see that no my feet do not drag when I'm wearing these shoes as a lot of platform shoes tend to do um, I think that they did really well at adding the platform to the boots without adding extra weight that is the key right here because Doc, Doc Martens have never felt heavy on my feet ever so if, if you were questioning going from a flat bottom to a platform bottom what the difference would be in comfort and stability you have nothing to worry about obviously these are not work boots these are fashion boots i don't know anyone that's wearing um platforms to go work a construction job or a factory job but just throwing that out there just just in case these boots are so freaking cute so freaking stylish and now let's get to the try on okay disclaimer like always my floor is crusty do not mind but okay so you guys can see there's elastic right here and this does zip all the way down but i don't use it i don't unzip it okay so look i just literally just slip my feet in that's it the only reason i'm struggling is because i'm holding the camera with one hand hold on give me a second guys okay slipped right in so my pants are a little bit baggy so let me let me just roll them up so you guys can see they do fit like i told you there's a little bit of room so they're not too tight but if you have bigger calves than i do they will definitely stretch and here is a look from the side they don't even make my feet look super freaking big like a lot of platform shoes do and since they're black i think that does help with the color i believe they also have these actually they don't have these in white but they do have other dadons in white you guys can see close up it's giving it's giving it's giving i'm gonna stop you out this giving don't get stumped out per okay and this is a mirror view so cute so chic now that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel make sure you check out all of my other shoe unboxings and hauls and stay tuned for a styling video because i got y'all um and also don't forget the boots will be linked down below the link will the link will be an affiliate link so i will make a small commission if you guys do decide to purchase using my link i will also link the other dog martins in case that's more your speed and also check out hobby thank you guys so much over at drink hobby you guys are amazing i'm absolutely obsessed with your coffee obsessed with your branding and and check out the recipe that i include in the beginning of this video so you can try it too Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.